Hey guys, I hope everyone's doing well. Just want to bring you build episode number 19. This one was filmed back in January 2020. I hope you enjoy the show. So I just built these squares and all it was was from a factory cut piece of plywood and I just ripped down the inside and the inside there and then notched out the back corner so that it could fit over that little trim pin that I've got mounted on there temporarily. Then I mounted a 2x4, I screwed this on to the side so that it could stay upright like this. In relationship, like floor to ceiling, that's giving me now a fairly true Good enough in this particular case line that is square with the floor and i've got one for the back as well now it's just popping out like that but that's fine so from there now i can actually build a shelf and measure out the profile so that it matches the profile of this edge right down here that way when the wall goes up it's going to be totally square with the floor as well and that's really important in this case. The bed needs to flow in between these two pieces and they need to be square like that with the floor. I've got this piece that's gonna go just like that. And then I've got this piece, which is gonna go like that. And then I'll do some shelves above it. I'm gonna have a face on this with uh, drawers on the top. These are gonna be cubbies that'll open up like that, all right? I'm not sure, I might use that little space in there, but for the most part, this is all gonna get covered up. That'll be a service hatch to the heater if ever need be. There's enough clearance in there to remove it. This can be a little compartment for something. The face of this is going to come up and it'll kind of come up along with this line here and it'll wrap up and transition in with the ceiling. So this is gonna be a flush mount right onto that somewhere around there. I'm happy with it. That's great. It's a good start. Gotta clean up now.
Okay, there it is. I'm loving this, man. This thing is awesome. So great. My eye's doing a lot better. And uh, I think, like, it's almost completely back to normal. Feels that way. So um, I still put those drops and stuff like that in there. So it's got a weird smell. So what I'm thinking to do is run just positive from the positive terminal of the battery through that grommet, that grommet right there. And then I'll route it above all that stuff up where that, to get a, that white plastic thing across the top of that. So that's behind this bracket up there. And then it'll come down and go into the top of this fuse that I just installed, not this clear one. And this is the positive wire that it's not positive, it's not hooked up to anything, but that's an 80 amp fuse. So there's um, connection there. And then it goes up like this and it goes up. And that wire right there, which is connected to the body, is what I'm hoping to be my negative wire connection. And just coming from the chassis. Those wires are coming up like this, across, all the way down there, all the way down. Ran out of loom there, but that's the 10 foot mark. And then I got enough to go all the way down to the back door, which is awesome, because that's where I want to put the charge controller. So because I'm thinking that I might tie that negative terminal right into the chassis right there, there might be quite a bit of resistance with that connection and I need to find that out before I actually like commit to using that as my, my ground negative. Um, so I don't know how to do that yet. I'm gonna learn and try that. That's the plan. Okay, so on this thing. Whoosh. So, <clears throat> the ice is actually like forming just on the inside. And I think that's because my head's down at this end and I'm just breathing and that's happening. But here's the side panel. We got nothing. Stayed at Walmart last night. This person's been here every night I've been here. Oh, there's a van behind them. It's a little bit of ice right there. Oh, there's some ice there too. I think it was colder last night than it was the night before. That's on the inside, so I think some of that's just condensation too building up, but you know, in other parts of the van, like on the metal up here, it's fine. There's, there is no condensation. A little bit of ice there too. <clears throat> well, there you have it. Six seven years. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna go clean the car off. Oh, it's really coming down. So I finished sweeping the car. It's pretty good, but it's like even after sweeping it, there's like it's snowing quite a bit. Those guys over there. Yeah. 
say that's not about a eight to ten centimeters, quite quite a lot. So I'm gonna go for a drive. having fun in his beamer. <laughs> That's great. Some people are gonna be like, yee-haw! <laughs>